Welcome back to Dreamin' Dragons. Maybe you're in a rush. Maybe it's pouring with rain. Or maybe you have a flower opening under a wasp's nest and you need to make your pollination prompt. We've done the long version of collecting and pollinating our flowers. You can find a link to that in the description below. But today we're going to do what I'd say is literally the simplest and quickest way of pollinating a flower. It's a little ironic that a video on the quickest way to pollinate a flower takes longer than it takes to pollinate a flower the slow way, but bear with me as we build up the suspense. To prove this technique actually works, I'll be using a self-sterile variety, a Connie Meyer here, and pollen from another variety. But stick around to the end as I'll be smashing out the most simple of simple tricks for the ultimate lazy gardener, or efficient gardener, whatever you'd rather call yourself or helps you sleep at night. I've bagged up our Connie in the early afternoon, so there's no chance of accidental cross-pollination, besides from our quick and snappy technique. Evening strikes. Bag off our flower. For the sake of our experiment, we'll keep the time the bag's off to a minimum, again to minimize potential accidental pollen cross-contamination. Over to our other variety where we'll grab a pinch of our flower's boy bits, the anthers and the filament. These are the pollen factories of our flower. Once we have our pinch, whack and smear those over the stigma of our Connie flower. Let's bag up and secure our flower again. Whack the date and the pollen source on the branch, and just like that, we're done. To show this technique actually works, Here's our fruit set a few days later. You can see by the distinct line here that we're well on our way to a fruit. Cha-ching! And, as promised and mentioned earlier, you can always go faster. And to prove it, we're going to get the business done quicker than you can say, dragon fruit. Side note, this super speedy shortcut will only work if your variety is self-fertile, so accept its own pollen. Righto, here we go. Dragon fruit. Alright, close enough. I have no idea if this variety is even self-fertile, so if the video continues, we've just discovered our variety self-fertile. If there's nothing, and it ends, well, at least we proved it worked earlier on. Moment of truth. Self fertile. A. Get in. I'd be pleasantly surprised, but if you have a faster pollination technique, whack it in the comments below. Would love to hear it and give it a red hot crack myself. And finally, if you've enjoyed or found this video interesting, please drop me a like as well as subscribing to my channel. It will do wonders to help spread my content to the wider dragon fruiting community. Plus, we'll help you keep up to date with all the dragon fruity goodness we have going on here. Cheers, guys.